All right, so a study has revealed that drinking Coke and Pepsi leads to larger testicles and more testosterone. Bro, is this like one of those market employees in order to get people to buy more? It's almost like got milk. Do y'all know that the whole got milk thing, from what I understand, had no health benefits? It was a marketing push. That's what I heard. I don't know for a fact. But drinking cow milk has like really no really, they don't really have that many health benefits. If anything, it gives you mucus. And for years, 30, 40, 50 years, even when I was growing up in the 90s, they were saying it has, it gives you vitamin D and things like that. When you get more vitamin D, most likely from spinach. So it says, a study has revealed how drinking Coca-Cola and Pepsi can lead to larger testicles and higher testosterone levels. The Northwest Menzu University in China was attempting to determine the impact of carbonated beverages on fertility and sex organs in men. The study looked at three groups of mice. Why the heck do y'all always be doing stuff on animals and expecting it to be the same? They're animals. They're totally different. There are some similarities because we're mammals. I get it, right? I believe mice are mammals, don't? Because if I'm wrong, I'm be mad as long as they're not mammals. But I'm pretty sure they're mammals. Rodents, mammals, I don't know. I thought mammals always, they got nipples and they got the same thing. Anyway, that doesn't, we're not mice. Some people may be rats. But we're not mice, you know what I'm saying? The study looked at three groups of mice, one that only drank water, another that drank different levels of Coca-Cola, with another doing the same with Pepsi over 15 days. Tests on the rodents included weighing their testicles and, and drawing blood. They were tested on day one as well as day five, seven, 10, and 15. It was quickly discovered that the mice drinking Coke and 100% Pepsi compared to a mixture of Pepsi and water had a significant change. Sometimes I wonder if these mice they be talking about be really people, but they, they don't really want to say it. For instance, the mice that were given pure Coca-Cola had higher levels of male hormone compared to the group that drank water. The study concluded that drinking Coca-Cola and Pepsi-Cola could promote testes development and enhance testosterone serotonin. Our findings provide a scientific basis for fully understanding carbonated beverages effects and their mechanism on development and reproduction functions of humans and how they benefit the prevention of prostate dysfunction. Okay, and however, this contradicts previous studies that indicated sugar drinks made men less fertile instead of, of more, as a new study suggested. Y'all haven't even, y'all literally have not even done this. Y'all coming out with these findings and saying that it applies to, to humans, that it applies to men. Y'all haven't even seen the effect that it has on, as a matter of fact, y'all got years of experience of seeing what it does to men. Why do y'all need mice? Just look at the last 50, 60, 70 years of giving people Pepsi and Coca-Cola products and base your findings on that. I, I, don't, I don't, some things are just common sense. It's not like something that's in testing or in beta. There's people who are addicted to Pepsi. There's people who like drinking Pepsi. Take people who don't drink Pepsi or Coca-Cola, but they're okay with doing it. Have them drink over a period of 15 days. Measure the testosterone level before, you know what I'm saying, before they, they start drinking. Measure after. and do. How are you going to try to tell us to believe something based on mice, bro?